All right, so I'm starting the stream here because there was a technical issue. Uh, but let me get down to what I was saying. Um, I got up this morning and you, you buy turnips off her in the morning, but she's still here. Why? I put the switch to sleep and she was still here, so I'm buying stuff off her still. Um, and so I'm not letting her out of line of sight. I don't know if this is a glitch and I'm just adding to the list of glitches that I've done to games. Um, but yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Hello, Starsley. I was saying hi. And I was asking how you were. How your day was. And then I was like, huh. Must be tired. And then it's me. <laughs> Stup this computer has been nothing but cursed when it comes to audio. Because I can't use the same mix of stuff I was using before. It just doesn't work on Windows 11. Did I? Oh, I got the purple flower. Um, anyway, this is the stock market effect, effectively, in this game. On Sundays, you can buy turnips off this character. They range between 90 to 110 bells. And then every day of the week after that, um, when you go to the store in the morning and afternoon, they sell for a particular price. Sometimes less, sometimes way more. So, it's a gamble. And, uh... Last time I, I made a pretty big pro profit, so if this works this week, I can pay off the rest of my debts. Yes. The downside is you can't put these in storage, you have to place them somewhere. Physically. I don't want her to disappear, so I'm keeping her in line of sight, because she's supposed to vanish at midday, but she's still here. So. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> How's, how's your day? Or evening, I guess, now. Um, I need to leave myself some money. See, I can't do that. I suppose the tree's gonna give me 30k. Alright. Yes. There we go. Do the things on the ground never disappear? So what happens with these is... Next Sunday morning, they will be rotten if I don't sell them. So from here to sun till Saturday, I have this to sell them. Thankfully, though, someone has come up with a program where you input the price into the program, and then it'll give you a, pre a pretty good prediction of when the best time is to sell. So, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, this is um 2.5 million bells worth of turnips, so... Okay. Well, now that... Now that I've bought the ones that I wanted to buy, I'm just gonna get them out of the way. That's crazy. Hopefully, I can sell them for, like, about 150. That's the best I'm hoping for. But it can go as high as, like, a stack can sell for 500. So, you basically make five times the amount of money back. This is just another social thing in the game is... Well, maybe not so much anymore, but when it launched, people were... Sharing their bell prices. Because you can visit other islands and then you can, um... Sell your turnips on other islands if they have good prices. Why must I have a technical issue with audio every damn day? It was Windows Update again. Yeah, every, every island has its own prices, so... I'm gonna put some in here. Windows update breaks everything, but this one just, like, completely un unrouted the microphone. Usually, all it does is just make the filters not work, but this completely just... Yeah, there was no audio coming through it. I had to swap audio device and then swap back, and then it was fine. So, okay. Um, anyway. 
a little later today. I went to see um, the new Studio Ghibli movie. The, the uh, boy and the heron. It's good. I liked it. Um, I saw the English dub because it was with my niece and, you know, she, she, uh, she can read, but it's easier just to go see the English dub. Um, and I mean, the English class cast is, uh, pretty decent. Like, they had Willem Dafoe as one of the main characters and just, he was doing the goblin kind of voice. It was great. And Dave Batista as well. So. It's a pretty good movie. Still trying to process the plot a little, but it was nice. The animation was really great. Just... Typical Ghibli. Ticked all the boxes. Things that look like paintings, ASMR. Good looking food. It had it. So, yeah, I kind of have to have these littering areas where uh, I'm probably not going to go. I'm just going to move them around before I do anything else. When it comes time to sell, do I got to run around and pick them all up? Yep. Put them into my inventory, go to the store, sell them, go pick more up. Just... And when you buy them, it's the same thing. You buy enough to fill your inventory, you go place them somewhere, and then... Yeah. And if you were the kind to have, like, people visiting your island, usually you would have to fence them off. It's like... Un unless you were playing with friends you could really trust that wouldn't pick it up. But, you know, random visitors could steal them. Sounds super time-consuming. Welcome to Animal Crossing. <laughs> just everything in this game is all about slowing down and just things take ages. I mean, I've been watering flowers practically every day for three months almost now, and I'm still not at the point where I got all the colors, so... But that's the idea of the game. It's just supposed to be something that you work on slowly and you just chill and play it. And that's why I enjoy it. Ah, oh, damn it, it's the river. This is good, I got to buy the maximum. Because earlier I was buying them just before we needed to leave and I was rushing to get as many as I could. It worked out in the end. I'm just gonna put these in areas that are out of the way. I don't really need to do anything over here. And then I just have to get up tomorrow morning. I'll check it before work. Because then that should give me pretty accurate prediction of what the day is going to be best to sell. I just hope it's something where the price is going to be okay. Because there is a chance that I could get um, a scenario where I'm going to lose money. So let's hope it doesn't come to that. I'm gambling pretty big here. But the payoff is that means I'm done with um, paying off the house and everything else. Oh, you're here. Good. All right, we can get unique furniture. Hey, 
I think I just need to get into the habit of, like, if I see my computer's restarted, just record a bot and just test everything. It's just... As annoying as that is... And thankfully, this time, someone said something at the start, but it just, I would be very upset. <laughs> it went, like, an hour in, and then it's just like, well... Yesterday, when I was playing Risk of Rain, the audio volume decided to double. I could not, for the life of me, figure out why, but I was thankfully able to fix it in editing later, but... Like, why, why can't we have just... The computer work the way you set it, you know? I was like, watching it was pretty funny. It sounded like I was in another room just yelling at, well, not yelling, but trying to talk into the microphone in another room. By comparison, that's how bad it was. Streamer curse not allowed, yeah. Well, it's okay. The one thing I can take pride in is, like, the picture quality has never faltered. Except... okay, well... Except when I moved to the city and I had to, uh... Ugh... Live with cursed internet, that was horrible. But outside of that... I will never give up this internet connection, like... I'll have to pry it out of my cold, dead hands. I tried going without it, and it, no, it's, it's not happening. I have to move one more stack and then pretty much out of the way. And then I can start playing the game. <laughs> I prepared for today. Now I'm not going to get hungry later when I play Yakuza. I went to have ramen at a good Japanese restaurant. So, like, the game is not going to make me hungry. Now you want ramen? Ugh. Probably be too late to be able to get some, huh? Get some tomorrow. Or today, I guess. I had like a a dark ramen, which is like the the black garlic one. Pretty good. They make everything legit there, from the broth to the noodles, just so good.
I haven't been able to catch a ribbon eel at all. What if I never see a ribbon eel again? I'll catch it. Never tried that, usually stick with spicy miso and tonkakotsu. Oh, they're both good. Um, it's a pretty rich flavor, I like it. But, of course it does things to your breath, but it's worth it. I uh, tried to try some of the new ones this place has, because um, last time I got a yuzu infused ramen, so it was, it was chicken instead of pork, and then, yeah, yuzu. You're a cave troll, no one would know. <laughs> That's the spirit. I mean, even if, if someone did, if someone did eat garlic or onions or something that gives that breath, I wouldn't care. It's just like, I'd probably be there enjoying it as well. Uh, be in an office. Um, there was another company in the office as well, and there was this one dude that just was super sensitive to just that stuff, and I don't know, he was just... Wouldn't really... I don't know how to put it. It's not necessarily bad mouthing, but just the guy would make comments, let's put it that way. And it's just. Dude, it's garlic, it's delicious. Like. One of the best ramen broths that I had. Um. It was like a whiskey-infused ramen, and it was really damn good. Aw, oh, man. It was great. Never heard that with that one before. Neither had I. I was intrigued by it and tried it, and it was just a very, yeah, a very good flavor. It's like how some people use Jack Daniels and stuff in cooking. But I guess now it's like in soup. Like I can do a, uh, a pasta that involves cooking Jack Daniels so it becomes like a, a syrup. And then you use that syrup as a base to cook like your shallots and bacon and stuff, and then you effectively make uh, the sauce with that. Tastes really good. It's not something I do often because it involves Jack Daniels and buying that stuff is like, if you're doing that too frequently, it's, it adds up. But it's good stuff. I made a, uh, I don't know, what you'd call it, it's not a campsite, but it's like, cabanas or whatever. It's like if a music festival was successful enough to provide accommodation that isn't like a single tent and sandwiches from a gas station, this is what it would be. Sandy. What is this? Oh, it's like a fake hedge. Interesting. I don't know what I'd use that for. I guess if I wanted to start a play. Wait, how does this. What? Oh no. 
Okay, one of two things is happening here. A. I'm hoping it's not A. Hedges do not grow on sand. But then why would it let you plant them in sand? Or, or B. Hedges grow quicker when you plant them in grass. Because all of these got planted at the same time. But only these ones appear to have grown overnight. If that's... I'll see how... It's A, they don't grow in sand. But then why would you... Why would it let you plant them? Like, really? Okay, um... That's fine. I can move them out of the sand and... I can put them back once they're grown, right? Same with flowers. All right. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh... This is not ideal, but I guess I'll just... Let me move this. I'll just put a bunch of them here. And put my pipe here. But thank you, Viking guys. How's it going? It's okay. Some hedges should be able to grow in sand. Some can. Well, I can I can let them grow, and then I can put them back. So, it's fine. I'll let them grow to their full size, and then I'll, I'll put them back. It'll work. It's just, right now, I have to go to this effort. I'll put them after. Because I've got the... I've got flowers here, and it works. But I put those there, um, once they were fully grown. It's not like they grew there. Um, I'm doing good. I just got back from, uh, hanging out with my brothers. We went to see the new Studio Ghibli movie at IMAX. Crap. Too slow. life lesson. Don't try to put plants in the sand. It doesn't work. This is why I just am not a nurturing person to have a, a garden. I once killed a cactus. Chain. Oh, there's more turnips here. Shit. Try a grown trap. We haven't seen anyone plant one in the sand. I, I should be able to put a grown one there. I can't see why it wouldn't work. I mean, if the non-grown one can be placed, I can't see why the grown one can't we? I'll try again in a few days. Fine. It should change before. Oh wait, I can't because I don't have money. I spent all my money. <laughs> Do you accept uh, turnips as a form of payment? I'll go with like clothes I have already. I need to move these ones, but I'll do it later. How 
How many more pieces? One more piece is fine. Oh wait, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. There we go. Now I have a little bit of money. So I don't know if it's just me, but during the trailers that they were showing today, they showed three superhero movie trailers, and for all of them, it just... I don't know, man. It just had zero excitement for them. I feel like we're at a point where superhero movies need to disappear for a while. Just feeling fatigued with the whole, like, everyone wants to do... A cinematic universe thing. Wow, oh, they have another one of these. Definitely buy it. A long while sick of superhero movies, yeah. I don't know. I, I think the moment they felt overdone for me was... I was having a conversation with friends one day, and one of them was like... I forgot which movie it was, they wanted to go see one of the new superhero movies. And... Another friend put it in words that, like, when I thought about it, I was like, hey, yeah, you know what? You're right. It's just... Those movies, they can't just let moments be moments. It's, at every turn, before a scene ends, they, it feels like someone has to make a quip. You know, like, someone has to try to be funny. Like, you could have a very tense moment, and then someone will be like, Well, that just happened! And I'm like, yeah, you know what? <laughs> That's probably why I'm sick of them. It's kind of just become predictable. I can probably get changed now, I'll do that now. Modern Hollywood Blair. Yeah. I mean, they're just making movies that are safe these days. Not all of them, but pretty good majority. Business shoes. Sure. Just as long as it's visually different. Tell me I can reach that. <laughs> it's not fair. Ah, oh, it's in the it's in the really annoying spot. That's a crap load of turnips. 2.5 million dollars worth. We'll see how, how it goes. 
bought at 90, so it's like I bought it at the best possible price. Just hope it goes well. Then I don't have to worry about money again. I finally got this. Just need to get more of them. Okay. Give me the uh what's 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 the name of it? I've already forgotten the name. The table I want! <laughs> Please don't be clothing. Nah, damn it. All right, uh, give me something new. That sucks. The bistro table, that's the one. I got a graduation gown. I can use words, I just choose not to. I revert to a more primal state where I communicate through noises and grunts. I mean, not grunts like Tim Allen style grunts, but you know. You knew what I meant. Someone made a mod for um, Oblivion where they replace every single sound in the game with a Tim Allen. Um, what's that? It's not a grunt, but it's that noise he makes when he's confused on home improvement. That noise. <laughs> Just every, every sound in the game is that noise. The game just starts off normal where it's only happening a little bit, and then the moment you step outside, it's just non-stop that everywhere. And yep, if uh, you have the same level of maturity I do, you'll get a stomach ache watching it. <laughs> it's obnoxious you're watching the video. Oh no. So you had to look it up right away. It's, it's piqued your interest. <laughs> yeah, ev like, when I say every sound, I mean everything. Footsteps, pickups, menu, NPCs, just everything. Why someone would do this? Why is it, why do people do anything on the internet? <laughs> Don't know how they get through three solid minutes of gameplay. I feel like that's the challenge, just seeing how long you can bear bear that. I remember what the pet I think the painting I got was fake. Skeleton? Oh, okay. I mean, I guess I have this standing here. I feel like I could re replace that with, um, the fake statue. Anyway. 
Uh, let me go put stuff away. Jukebox. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, putting a jukebox in the bathroom is probably not a good, good way to get music in here. I think I'll just leave the little radio. It's fine. Okay, turn around. Not that way. There we go. Downstairs stuff. Can I put it in the kitchen? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I guess the problem. I could put it where this plant is. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, they're both playing the same thing. Oh, right. What's the song? I got this ye yesterday. After I wrapped up, I just did the KK concert thing. It's fine. So I guess if the other one is one that I already have, I can hang it on the wall. looking more complete now. What other recipes do I have? always heard about this, but I've never tried it, because it's just not really a thing here. It's intrigued me, because I'm it's treated like a dessert, but it's pumpkin. And I associate pumpkin with not dessert, so... I mean, I guess I could put, like, a s slice or something. I've been, um, been talking about eggnog, and people want me to try it, so, when, first day of break, whenever I'm on holiday, I'm gonna try it. It's so good. I've been adverse to it just because of the wording, it's just, I don't know. Just the word egg and then saying that you drink it, it just doesn't seem right. But I, I'll give it a go. Um, Cause usually what I do when I go on break for the year, I, uh, I will play like a game from childhood. So this year it'll be Yoshi's Island and 
I said I'll try like eggnog. So people are gonna drink eggnog when I play that game. That's that's the deal. It's good. It's kind of thick. Yeah. I mean, I know I know what it is. It's just I guess the mental picture I'm getting from it, you know, because of the name. It's like I have friends from Southeast Asia that swear by the avocado uh, smoothie and it's just because it's avocado I, I just I can't there's a mental block there because for me avocado is like a mayonnaise substitute and to say you make a drink out of it and then put chocolate syrup in it it's just I can't make the leap on that one but with eggnog I, I can I think I can that one's more of just a name thing so I'll try it. The, the only the only issue is it comes in it only comes in a liter in terms of what I can buy. So it's like if I don't like it, well, <laughs> kind of gonna go to waste. But I've been told to put nutmeg in it, and if I want to, rum, but I think if I'm gonna have it and let other people in chat have it, it would have to be in the morning my time, because otherwise it's in the morning for everyone else, which doesn't make sense. Probably best to try it normal first before adding stuff. Okay. So that'll probably happen. I've tentatively said the 18th slash 17th, depending on where you live. And I also want to make fun time with doing this live. Well. A couple of people said they want me to do it live, so. Um, it'll either be one of two things, depending on interest. I'll either do it on stream whilst I'm playing Yoshi's Island. Or, because my annual tradition is I watch Jingle All The Way. That's like the movie that I watch every year for Christmas. And if there's enough interest in that, just drink eggnog and watch that on Discord. That's... The two options. So the tentative date is uh, the Monday for me, which is Sunday evening, well, afternoon slash evening for most other people. Because I'd be getting up in the morning to, uh, to do this. I don't think it would work very well if I did this at, like, this time right now. You have that on DVD, it's a cute movie. I love that movie. It was on practically every year when I was a kid. So, it just became a tradition. Just always watched it every year. You know, Arnie just yelling about cookies, you can't go wrong. What do you want to sell? Rim glasses, what else is there? What else is there? A nurse's cap? I'll buy the nurse's cap. Who knows when that'll come in handy. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. 
I'll see what other little dudes appear, but I still have to fill them in. Okay, I'm going to halves and just customizing stuff. Yeah, that's my traditions, is that. Oh, I got ripped off, I know this. I also bought myself a Christmas present, <laughs> but it probably won't get here till next year. It's more of just like a... I always... After working and just like having a busy period, I'll reward myself with something. But this is more for the stream than anything else, but... I bought myself this thing that I'll be able to plug any console into and then it's going to output it at like 4K if I want it. Which means I can make the Switch look like it's in 4K, which is kind of nice. <laughs> Because right now the problem I'm having is, it's not so much a problem, it's my own problem. But when I play PS5 games and I stream them at that higher quality, I have to swap. And it's kind of annoying. But at least this way I won't ever have to swap and everything just becomes better quality. What is this painting? Uh, I've never seen this one before, let me see. But I guess that's, like, the next stream upgrade. Is this one of these ones that's always genuine? Yeah, and I'm scrolling, scrolling. Always genuine, yeah. Okay. Cool. That's a very creepy painting, but I like it. just love the premise of this. It's like, hey, you're not going to regret this. Don't worry, I'll send this to you tomorrow. Give me the money, please. They also have three flavors of the eggnog. They have regular eggnog, they have Christmas eggnog, and then they have the one that's like pre-mixed with Australian rum. So, debating which one I should get. I don't know what the difference between normal and Christmas would be. Oh, damn it. I have to pay the 10 grand. Alright, fine. I mean, I could leave it, but then I get less money from trees and stuff. Oh, crap. I won't be able to get my stuff customized. What she says affects the game, yeah. So, like, if she says your your luck with money improves, money that falls out of trees is tripled. But if she says it diminishes, it's like, yeah, not good. But you can remove it by doing that. Yeah. I mean, there's still the money rock, so... Every day there's a rock that has money. I probably should have left myself 50 grand or something, just to be able to still work on things. Okay, that's already in the color that I need it, so then... I just need to... Ah, see, it costs a thousand bells. 
Okay, this is for the downstairs. I mean, I have investments. <laughs> Just need to wait. I sound like the crypto guys. Oh, I would never. Man. It's great that that all came just crashing down. Particularly the NFT shit, man. I mean, look, I'm sure the technology had its merit when you take it out outside of the whole investing thing. But just... I don't know. It's just, man, some of those people were annoying. They really were. And they were driving up the prices of graphics card graphic cards and stuff like that. I saw of the crypto era was John Cleese made an NFT of a drawing that he did of a bridge. And so he sold a drawing of a bridge. Oh man. I think that one went over a lot of people's heads because they hadn't heard the old uh, the old saying of like someone with a bridge to sell is just a scam artist. People legitimately bid for that thing. Oops. What am I doing? What am I doing? Not outside. It's a bit of a tight squeeze, but it's fine. It'll work. I just gotta put the other walls. Alright, I need to make some money. set a couple down. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> oh man. out of it. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to do some fishing would probably be the best way to do it. Oops. I should check the hot item of the day. That might be another good way to make money. it near the Godzilla statue. Well, it's not really a whole lot on that side of the, the map. Guard my my turnips. They got a little sea water on them. It's, it's still fine. What's the hot item? Boomerang and a peach smoothie. I don't think I have What's it, if, what's it made out of? I don't think I have the wood. I don't think I stocked up on peaches either, so... It's hardwood. Yeah, I don't have any hardwood. Throwing a boomerang is not as easy as one would think. In school, we got taken to a place where we got learn we learned to throw one and it's pretty pretty involved. But also just the concept of like video games and just movies where you catch the boomerang coming back, no. <laughs> Fucking hurt, man. Uh oh. Reaches a pretty, pretty fast speed, and then just catching it in your hands would hurt. Well, that's eight thousand bells, so.
What is this table? Strategic mating type? What the hell? 150,000 bells for this? What makes this a str what makes this strategic? Does, does, is this a computer screen? Like... I, th I thought it was like one of those tables where... You know... The, the dude that has the evil island lair... Just... Chains the uh... The spy... To the table... And then goes over the evil plan and then the spy escapes from the table... And thwarts said evil plan. I have too much of an imagination. Basically moving these things around. I just don't want them to get in the way, that's all. This was always going to be a problem. I knew when I bought them this week, just... They were going to be all over the town because I just have nowhere to put them inside. Ever since I started decorating indoors, it's just, well... My options are limited now. them anywhere in the morning because I wanted to do it quickly because I didn't have much time before I had to go. Thankfully, everyone knew what I was talking about when I said, hey, give me five minutes, I just need to buy my turnips. I didn't really have to say much else. People knew what I was talking about. I'm lucky that, well, all my brothers have basically identical interests, but yeah, it's just... Didn't need to explain further. Shit. <laughs> Oops. 
Uh, nothing happened. I just brushed it a little, a little too quickly. Wait for the tool tip to appear, otherwise it's going to erase what's on the ground. Sorry that this is gonna be like. I hope it's not a third of the time I spend here today, but it might very well be that. Originally, I was only going to buy a million worth of it, but just the prospect of being done with this process, like not having to check on Sunday and all that, I figured it, it's worth the risk. Especially because the buy price was 90. It's just, well, it means odds are I will probably get it for a good price. It's pretty unlikely. Like, there's still catastrophe potential, but it's not as big a catastrophe as it could be. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm still on done. But you know what? I'm really happy because... That's purple. I just need the black ones now, and that, that's that flower type done. Um, I could probably put some in there. That, that's a pretty empty spot. That I'm not going to do anything with anytime soon. eggnog thing. Is it meant to be had cold or warm? Because that might be another factor that... 
out of nowhere. I would hope cold, then I can see it being a warm drink. Because it's winter, so it's like, is, is it a warm drink? warm drink that's potentially problematic just because well it's summer here and if it's hot <laughs> and I mean hot to the point where you could put a piece of meat outside and it would probably cook There's still more. <laughs> uh. I kind of regret buying this many, but it's okay. What's wrong? There on the island calls you Muffin. Yeah, you can call me Muffin. Oh shit, what is that? Oh, someone lost an item. Officially spent over an hour on this. <laughs> oh, man. What was that? That was something rare, wasn't it? I just scared a rare bug away. Okay, I think that's it. I think I moved all of them to a spot where they're not in the way. Hang on. I don't want it to be out of line of sight, just so I don't miss out. Okay, there we go. Who's this? Where did Melba go? Is it? Oh, good. He's just over there. That was easy. What's your reward? A piece of clothing? Athletic outfit. Okay. Alright, now I can <laughs> get started on the rest of the day. Um, still, I'm looking for the money rock, and then I can go customize the other stuff. I gotta find two more fossils. All right. Now that all this junk is out of the way. There it is. Alright, money rock found. have money again. There's also the money tree, which I haven't found the spot yet. Give me a 
of sucked. Oh, there's a fossil. There's the other fossil. Okay, fossils are done. I think there's the money tree spot. Okay, cool. Identify the fossils, sell whatever's spare, and then I'll go to halves. Customize the rest of what I had. No. Okay. Hopefully this is worth something. Alright, that's not too bad. I gotta get a new slingshot. Oh yeah, Kat was telling me you can gift the fishing rod. I'm gonna give, give Scoot this fishing rod so then Scoot's like a duck with a duck fishing rod. I didn't know you could do that. I'll customize it to green as well. Hey, Scoot. This is for you. A colorful fishing rod? Thanks. I keep breaking these, so this is great. Time to flex my gratitude muscles. I want you to have a wrestling singlet. Thanks.
Okay, now I'm going to halves. If he's cute, you want all the ducks on an island. I think all the ducks go pretty nice. They're just such chill creatures as well in real life. It's a work Christmas party, we would just hang out chilling on the grass and just two of them just came up and just, they just sat down next to us. And they were just there uh, chilling, like they weren't afraid or anything. This dude has easily made like half a million bells off me at this point. Once I put those panels down there, and I water the flowers, I can either make some money, so then I don't really struggle with money for the rest of the week, it's just like, well... Until the turn up sell, I'm gonna be out of money. Or I just go do happy home stuff. and just forget about the money. Let future me worry about it. Oh, but I need to buy items for overnight. Ugh, all right. I should have left myself 50,000 bells spending money. Do I do diving? Uh, sometimes. Like, I mix it up. This room's nearly done. Oops. I know diving can make money. Okay, let me have a look over here. Um, don't have to water everything.
alright. These ones over here can stay, because they're out of the way. <laughs> Just... Oh, man. Yeah, I mean... I'm hoping it goes well. It would be a little sad if it didn't. So here I'm waiting on another red. Which is going to be hybrid red. Okay, I'll do here. These are hybrid yellow. I think the bare minimum they could have done to make this less convoluted was just... When it's in your inventory, you have it- make it have an icon so then you could see- Oh yeah, no, this is a hybrid yellow. Okay. Instead of what it currently is. It's just, well, just guess. Okay. Don't need red, I don't think. I don't think red does anything. Unless it's hybrid red, which... I won't worry about it. So, in theory, I have what I need to make green in this corner. So I shouldn't need to water these ones anymore. I'm gonna do... Just in case this is actually a thing. Do that. <laughs> Three months worth of work. <laughs> Just to get certain colors. Oh, there's another blue one here. Nice. Okay. believe there are people that have whole islands with just all the colors of the flowers. Oops. Alright, that's that. Finally got purple here. trying for blue because I do want to put more blue flowers around the place.
Okay. I still haven't had luck with this. I need to get rid of these white ones and just sell them. What color is this? Hang on, before I... Let me just double check. Yeah, orange and orange make purple. So I guess I just have to wait until it becomes purple. That's not what I was trying to do, but thanks. So close to being done. I just need to grow a few more of them. These have already been watered. I'm trying to make more of the golden ones. Okay. Daily furniture. Oh, 
there's one. Garbage can. I don't know if it can drop. I haven't seen it drop anything really expensive or rare. I'm trying to think about the best thing I've gotten from a tree. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good rest. Yeah. Just streaming, I'll catch it during the week. That's it. Alright, got it. A futon. <laughs> Wrong thing. Oh. Huh. I mean, would you put this outdoors and say it was camping? I don't know. Oh crap, I didn't take these ones out. Ah, uh, there's still more to get out of the sand. Whoops. I'm just gonna plant them here because I'm lazy. Enough to hopefully get me like, I don't know, 30,000 bells and that should be okay. I got half an hour to do it, because after that it's going to get closed. That. Oh, selling shells, okay. Do that first. I can get some wisdom from Stoner Otter. Haven't really talked to him in a few days.
As long as I make like about thirty thousand dolls, it should be enough to do what I need to do. balloon as well. Uh, oh, there's a shark on land. I should probably go for that. Well, that's worth money. Alright. I just got my money-making item. a donation, not a money-making thing. Cool. Well, <laughs> consolation. I'll donate it now before I forget. Tell me about the saw shark. As you might expect from the name, the saw shark is a shark with a head that resembles a saw. This unusual appendage is used both to dig potential prey out of the sand and as a weapon against said prey. Given that, it seems like more a more appropriate name would have been shovel sword shark. <laughs> Oh no, it just makes me think of Shovel Knight. One trip should be enough, because I got the giant clam. It'll be enough for making some money. Oh, this is new. Well, those are used in certain recipes as well, so I should probably hang on to a couple.
I'm a, uh, yeah, okay. It's a little while ago. Gotta get to that. Alright, no worries, Viking Goddess. Thanks for, uh, watching. Have a good rest. What time is it? Oh, it's only 10.30. Okay. I thought it was a bit later. more of a morning person, I'd probably be going to sleep as well. Where is the scallop? I'd like to get some words of wisdom from Stone Otter. Wait, is that a new beetle? Mm, no, it doesn't look it. Oh, there we go. Hey man, about that scalp of yours, can I have it? Go for it. Oh, thanks for your generosity, man. Since you were cool, I left you something you'll dig. While I'm at it, let me lay some truth on you, the deep kind. Feel this. Ever been to a scarecrow party? Everyone just sort of hangs around, man. Boring. Consider yourself true. Yep. Today is a good day. <laughs> I wonder if there's like a list of just everything he says. Can't say I've seen a duplicate yet. It seems to be unique.
Ten more. Shouldn't take long. Probably hang on to those ones. At least for the cooking. Oh, he left me a recipe. I think I may have that one already. more. Should probably just head to land now. I'll go for this one, why not? Then I'll just go for land. Yeah. Alright, I got one big ticket thing.
telling me about the Taiga Prawn. Taiga Prawn is a hearty crustacean found in many places around the world. Named for the stripes on its exoskeleton, it molts out of the shell as it grows in size. I can only acquire a larger home with such ease. But do you know what I find even more fascinating? The Tiger Prawn's legs. It has five pairs of swimming legs, five pairs of walking legs, and three pairs of limbs it eats with. How? Might I ask, does it not trip over its own 26 feet? Okay. Oh, I guess I didn't have it. Alright. What does it look like? Oh, okay. Let's see what I get. Excluding that one. Alright, decent. Oh, I forgot that one. spending money now. worth a lot of money though. Alright, I'll get it. When is the next time a car is going to appear, honestly? Just need one more for downstairs. Um, I need another touch screen cash register. To be honest, I probably need a couple, so let's just get two of them. Alright, that's done. I didn't think I'd be buying a car. <laughs> so maybe the money's not as good as it could be now.
I think what I might do is just go to the Happy Home Island and just see what furniture's there. I'm not sure if I'm going to build anything. Because I do have a bunch of Pokey saved. Let's see. I mean, maybe there's a villager that'll pique my interest. Well, it's Rhino and Hippo. <laughs> a gator? Another elephant. Uh, go. Eh. Eh. <laughs> Norma was on my other island. I keep getting X villagers. could use this opportunity to ask uh, cafe visitors. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's new. I'll buy it. Not really interested in the other stuff. Let's have a look. They could have new drinks as well, which could be cool. Clip. You're on my new leaf island. Man. <laughs> well, New Leaf Town, I should say. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. Now this is actually bar food. Hell yeah. Oh, this is great. Yeah, I'm getting these. Okay, this was worth the trip. I think I have this one. Okay. 
Don't think I have a lot of these. I think the other one's cola, we'll see. But either way, good to have them. That's no, coffee. We got one. So, I mean, there's no one here that I would want to make a vacation home for, but this stuff is good, because now I can go back and put it as decorating things. I think the cafe was definitely the right move. It's given me a lot of the items I want for decorations. Thousand bells made. It's about to close, so I should sell it now. Now my money doesn't seem too bad. Thing, so let's just oh this is great yeah there we go that's better much better
Yeah, nice. I mean, they're cooking pasta and fish in the background, but... <laughs> At least, you know, it's more, it makes more sense. I wonder if they have deep fries as an item. put any outside. They're just there in case I want to put more drinks down somewhere. Um, but I might go to the restaurant though. Out here. The seaweed soup. Because we can use, um, yeah, that's better. Seaweed soup's not that impressive. sandwiches. What else is missing here now? I guess more artwork to throw on the walls. Otherwise, I think it's fine. Kind of got everything I wanted. The only thing I might be missing is just the... Who's crafting today? I'll have a look around. Not 
crafting. Is it weird to love an object because I'm basically in love with my cushion? Just making sure those were watered. What are you making? Mixed fruits tart. Okay, well there's the recipe. What does this look like? Oh, that looks nice. I might make that. Maybe uh, to have at the diner. I got on the Nook Mile board. Anything? Talk to one more villager. That's easy. You got fleas again? Are you kidding? Forty. What the hell? It's like three times in a week. Roberto High Tops. Wow. Oh. Thanks. Is this thanks for getting rid of the plague? I can't believe it was like three times in one week. I'm just. Yeah, it's that. Just wanted to get that one done. I think that's all the easy ones. Okay, well, that'll do it for now. I know a lot of today was just moving around the damn turnips, but... Yeah, hopefully it pays off. Sorry, I'm not... Not every time I play this, I'll get to do something fancy looking. I'll make up for it next time. Alright, well, if you have reached the end here and you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around and uh, hope you enjoyed. If you want to support the channel, easiest way to do so is just click buttons, like the like button. It helps out a lot, so do appreciate those that do do that. Or if you want to watch me play something else, you can just click one of the other videos that pop up on your screen. So I hope you check them out. Yeah, we'll do more of this soon. Take care, YouTube.